Hello children, I hope you are all happy and safe. Welcome to this special English hour. Here we will sing, dance, listen to stories and have lots of fun together. Are you ready to have fun? Then come, join me in a fun song. Bacho, TV ke zara nazdeek aiye aur mere saath ek dance mein jur jaiye. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, jump, jump, jump. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, walk, walk, walk. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, dance, dance, dance. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, roll, roll, roll. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, jump, jump, jump. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, walk, walk, walk. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, dance, dance, dance. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, roll, roll, roll. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby, jump, jump, jump. Scooby Dooby, Scooby Dooby. Scooby Doo be dance 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 Scooby Doo be Scooby Doo be everybody roll Children I hope you all liked the dance we just did Now I would like to ask you a few questions let us share our thoughts and ideas. Bacho, ab main aap se kuch sawal poochna chahoongi. What do you see in my hand? Ye mere haath mein aapko kya nazar a raha hai? This is a pencil while this is a sparkle pen. Which one do you find more attractive? The pencil or the sparkle pen? Aapko in dono mein se कौन सा ज्यादा पसंद है यस आई एम श्योर वी ऑल लाइक पेन्स वी फाइंड देम वेरी फैंसी राइट बट वॉट इज इट दैट यू यूज मोर ऑफन इज इट अ पेंसिल और अ स्पाकल पेन इन दोनों चीजों में से हम ज्यादा कौन सी चीज इस्तेमाल करते हैं पेंसिल या फिर ये चमकीली पेन यस yes. We use a pencil more often to write in our notebook. When we look at things, it is not just how attractive they look, but how useful they are that matters. So, it is important that we don't just look at the outside beauty of things, but also understand how useful they are to decide how valuable an item is. We know that words are very important for language. Let us learn some new words today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Second word, reflection, reflection, reflection. Third word, entangled, entangled, entangled. Fourth word, Manger, manger, manger. Fifth word, begrudge, begrudge, begrudge. What are the new words we learned today? Beautiful, reflection, entangled, 
manger and begrudge. Let's look for these words in the lesson we are going to read. Do you like stories? I love stories. Today we have a wonderful storyteller named Aesop. Aesop shares his two fables with us. Fables are short stories. If you have a textbook, please open page number 2. Point to the words as we read. If you don't have a textbook, please listen carefully. While we are reading, try to look for the new words we just mentioned earlier. Aesop's Fables Fables are short stories that have a moral or message for us. Something to learn and keep in mind as we grow up. Most of the fables have animal characters who think and act just like human beings. It is believed that many of the fables were first told by a wise person called Aesop. Aesop lived hundreds of years ago in a country called Greece. His stories became so popular that people passed them from generation to generation. Many proverbs and sayings that we use today are based on these fables. Here are two well-known fables. What are fables? Fables are short stories that have a moral or a message for us. What is so amazing about fables? Fables have animal characters who think and act just like human beings. Who is Aesop and where is he from? Aesop was a very famous storyteller. He lived hundreds of years ago in a country called Greece. Fable Choti kahaniyan hain jinme ek saar ya message hota hai. In kahaniyon mein praniyon ke paas bhi insano jaisi sochne ki taakat hoti hai. Fables choti kahaniyan hain jinka saar ya message logon ke liye hota hai. Fables mein प्राणियों में भी इंसानों की तरह सोचने और काम करने की ताकत होती है। एसोप एक कहानी लेखक है और 100 से भी ज़्यादा साल पहले ग्रीस नाम के एक देश में वे रहते थे। The stag at the pool. One day, a beautiful stag came to a pool of clear water. As he bent down to drink, he saw his own reflection in the water. He was delighted with what he saw. Instead of drinking water, he kept looking at his own reflection. How handsome I look, he said to himself. How beautiful are these curving antlers. How they add to my beauty. How graceful they look. Then he moved nearer and saw his legs reflected in the pool. He was quite disgusted. Look at my legs. Ugh! They are so ugly. All spindly with small feet. How I wish that nature had given me legs worthy of my stately antlers. This story is about a stag who used to admire his antlers. The stag was very proud of his antlers but he did not like his legs. He used to find his own legs very ugly. Ye kahani hai ek stag ek bara singa ki जिसे अपने एंटलर्स बहुत ही ज़्यादा पसंद थे। 
लेकिन उसे अपने ही पैर बिल्कुल नहीं पसंद थे वो अपने पैरों को बदसूरत मानता था एज ही वॉज ब्रूडिंग इन दिस वे द स्टैग हर्ड एन एरो गोइंग स्विश अक्रॉस द पुल एट द सेम टाइम ही पिक्ड अप द सेंट ऑफ हंटर्स विथ अ क्विक टर्न ही बाउंडेड अवे हिज लेग्स कैरीड हिम स्विफ्टली इन टू द फॉरेस्ट द हंटर्स वो हॉट ऑन हिज ट्रेल बट दे वर नो मैच फॉर हिज स्पीड सून द स्टैग लेफ्ट द हंटर्स फार बिहाइंड द स्टैग वॉज ब्रूडिंग he was upset that his legs were not as beautiful as his antlers at that moment he suddenly heard a soft noise he caught the scent of hunters he quickly ran away from that place his legs carried him swiftly into the forest the stag was very fast and left the hunters far behind stag ko ek aawaz sunai di kisi ne dur se teer chalaya tha stag wahan se turant bhag nikla wo itna tezi se daude ki unhone shikariyo ko bahut dur chhod diya safe and out of the hunters reach the stag slowed down suddenly without realizing it he walked into a thicket there were trees with strong branches growing close together and alas the same antlers of which he was so proud got caught in the thick growth the stag reached a thicket in the forest the trees were growing closely together here the stag's antlers got stuck इन द ट्रीज ब्रांचेस जंगल में स्टैग एक ऐसी जगह आ पहुंचे जहां बहुत सारे पेड़ एक साथ उग रहे थे पेड़ की डालियों में स्टैग के सिंग फंस गए द स्टैग ट्राई टू शेक हिमसेल्फ फ्री बट द मोर ही स्ट्रगल्ड द मोर एंटेंगल्ड हिज एंटलर्स गॉट इन द ब्रांचेस द स्टैग ट्राइड टू फ्री हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम द ब्रांचेस बट द मोर ही मूव the more his antlers got entangled in the branches stag ke sing unke antlers daliyon mein phas chuke the wo jitna hil kar unko nikalne ki koshish karte wo utne hi zyada bure phas rahe the once again the stag could hear the hunters drawing close and grew afraid at last with great difficulty he managed to free his antlers and bounded away the stag tried to free himself again he heard the hunters coming he used all his force and freed himself and ran away stag ko wapas shikariyon ki awaaz aayi unhone pura zor lagaya aur apne singo ko ped ki daliyon se chhudwaya i realized now that my ugly feet saved my life i was so proud of these handsome antlers but they would have been the cause of my death very often we dislike the very things that are most useful to us what did we learn in this fable in this fable we see how the stag is very proud of his antlers he looks at them and he feels proud but when he looks at his legs he is very disgusted with them he does not like his legs but what happens when hunters come behind the stag the stag immediately makes his way towards the forest he runs away and he is able to run so swiftly because of his strong legs as the story moves further the stag is in the forest where his antlers get stuck they get entangled in a thicket there again 
the hunters come behind the stag at once the stag somehow manages to free his antlers from the thicket and run away on that day the stag realized that no matter how beautiful its antlers were they could have got it killed that day what did we learn from this fable from this fable we learned that no matter how beautiful or attractive a thing may look what is most important is how useful is it here we hear the story of the stag the stag is very proud and happy of its beautiful antlers the stag is not very happy is disgusted with his own legs but what happens when the hunters come chasing the stag the stag immediately runs away the stag is able to save his own life because his legs were strong and fast it was because of these antlers that the stag was very close to death that day when his antlers were stuck in the thicket it was his legs which helped him run fast and away from the hunters because of which the stag's life was saved is kahani se hame kya seekh milti hai is kahani se hame ye seekh milti hai ki cheeze bahar se kitni hi sundar kyun na dikhe sabse zyada zaruri ye hai ki sahi samay par hame kaun si cheez kaam aati hai children now let us read the next fable the dog in the manger the dog in the manger once a dog was looking for a nice and comfortable place to lie down he came to the manger of an ox and jumped on to the hay to rest it was a very hot afternoon after a while the ox returned from the field he had worked hard in the hot sun and was now quite hungry he stood in his stall and was planning to eat the hay that was put in the manger for him however when he reached for the hay the dog saw him standing in the manger he began to bark loudly at the ox each time that the ox came near the hay the dog snarled barked and snapped at the ox he would not allow the ox to eat his hay what is it that you see in the picture it is a manger this is the dog and this is the ox what was the dog looking for the dog was looking for a cool and comfortable place to stay where did the dog find this place the dog found this place in a manger where did the ox come from the ox had a hard day at work and after that came to the manger to eat hay and rest when the ox tried to eat the hay what happened the dog was sleeping in the hay the dog saw the ox and barked and snarled and did not allow the ox to come closer to the hay oxen are generally peace loving and patient animals but finally the ox got upset and spoke firmly dog if you wanted to share my dinner with me i would not mind it but you neither eat the hay nor allow me to enjoy it it is of no use to you then why don't you let me have my favorite food don't be grudge others what you don't enjoy yourself what does the ox tell the dog the ox tells the dog that if you want to share the hay with me and eat i would not mind but you will not eat the hay yourself and not even allow me to eat it this is not right is kahani mein kya hota hai 
इस कहानी में कुत्ते को चारे पर सोना है बेल खेत से थका हारा लौटा है और उसे चारा खाना है लेकिन कुत्ता भौंक भौंक कर उसे खाने नहीं देता इस बात पर बेल उसे कहता है कि अगर तुम्हें मेरे साथ चारा खाना है तो मुझे इसमें कोई तकलीफ नहीं है लेकिन न तुम चारा खा रहे हो और न मुझे खाने दे रहे हो ये बात गलत है द मॉरल ऑफ द स्टोरी इज दैट वी शुड नॉट बी अनहैपी इफ अदर्स आर गेटिंग वट दे नीड और वॉट दे वॉन्ट चिल्ड्रेन आई होप यू ऑल एंजॉयड बोथ ऑफ एसॉप फेबल्स बोथ द फेबल्स हैड अ लवली मॉरल had a wonderful message that we can take along with us the first story of the stag at the pool leaves us with a beautiful moral that we should value ourselves and our bodies we should not be distracted with only outer beauty we should also look at the usefulness the stag thought that his antlers were beautiful and his legs were ugly but it was because of his strong legs that he escaped death that day the second fable of the dog in the manger leaves us with the moral that we should not be unhappy if others are getting what they need or what they want like the dog needed the hay to rest but not allowing the ox whose manger it was to eat the hay from his own manger was wrong children i hope you all liked aesop's fables now it's time to do an activity in this activity you will all see an image on your screen there will be a word and there will be a paragraph you have to find the meaning or the synonym of that word in the paragraph you will be given some time to do this let me show you the first example the first word is beautiful let us see the paragraph and let's search for the synonym of this word were you able to find the synonym of beautiful yes it is handsome okay are you now ready you will see more words on your screen along with paragraphs try to read the paragraph and find the synonym in it The synonym for the first word happy in the paragraph is delighted the synonym for the second word disapproved is disgusted the synonym for the third word run away is bounded children i hope you all had fun in the activity we just did now let's do another activity on your screens you will see a set of words given in two columns you have to match the synonyms let me show you one example finish and end are synonyms synonyms are words that mean the same would you like to give it a try now okay then on your screens you will see a set of words in two columns please match the synonyms with each other
Now let's look at the answers. Journey is trip. Lamp means light. Money means cash. Midday means noon. Children, I hope you all had fun in today's session. Now, I would like you all to make some time and once again read Aesop's Fables and share it with your friends and family. I would also like you to have a look at a few words and make new words from it. Let me show you an example. If you are given the word upset, what are the other words you can make using the same set of letters? One word can be up. U P up. Another word can be set. S E T set. Like this, you will see a set of words on your screen now. Please make a note of them and try to make newer words from these set of letters in that word. Reflection. Growth. Delighted. Dislike, graceful, afternoon, hunter, firmly, thicket. Children, I hope you have all noted down the words I just gave as homework. Till we meet next time, please take care. Bye-bye and stay safe.